Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you my review between my Samsung Galaxy S6 and my iPhone 6. Now take note guys that I have been a full-time user now on both of these phones. So why don't we go ahead and start with, you know, basically this iPhone, this uh, Samsung Galaxy S6, the upgrade from the previous uh, S5 is a huge improvement. Even though that this new S6, it doesn't come with a removable battery, there's no expandable storage, it's not water resistant. Still like overall, this phone is so much more powerful. There's like very, very minimal lag issues, if any, compared to the S5. The camera, the video blows out the, uh, the previous, the S5. Now between these two, um, let's just start off with the fingerprint scanner, okay? Now if you guys are familiar with this fingerprint scanner on the, um, on the, S, the S5, the previous version, it sucked. Nobody uses the freaking fingerprint, fingerprint uh, uh, sensor on the S5 because you have to swipe down. However, Samsung did a huge improvement, okay? So, with, I mean, it basically is a tap sensor. You just tap it and you're in. Just like the iPhone, okay? Tap it like this and bam, you're in. So between the fingerprint uh, sensor, they're both pretty much, um, I don't see a difference. I mean, I think they're pretty much exactly on top with each other. Uh, another thing is too, uh, is like design guys, you guys, a lot of you guys are probably already familiar, but the S6 and the iPhone 6, it's almost exactly like the same. Like, I mean, check this out. The volume buttons uh, are in the same position. If you even look on the bottom here, you have the, uh, the uh, headphone jack in the same place. Uh, the power, the speakers are even in the same place. And if you turn it over, I mean, even the uh, the power buttons are pretty much in the same area. And even the um, the SIM card tray. And the thing with the, the SIM card tray, uh, the S6 now has it just like all the iPhones. We have to stick like a little needle in there, push it in there to pop out the uh, the SIM card or the SIM card tray. With the previous Galaxy uh, uh, S's. It was all basically, it all had a removable back where you can pop the back plate off and you have a removable uh, battery, your storage, and you can just put your, you can just slide your SIM card in and out. Okay, another thing is battery life. You know, like I've watched a couple of these other videos and they're saying like, oh, the iPhone 6 um, lasts like longer than the, the Samsung Galaxy S, the S6 because of the, uh, the resolution and the brightness. Man, you know what? That's a bunch of that's a bunch of BS, guys. I mean, like I said, I've used these phones like full time. The iPhone six, I get about ten hours. The S six here, I get about eleven hours, guys. And this is the same. Uh, even with the previous, uh, the S five version, I got about eleven hours as well. Now on my Z three, my Sony Xperia Z three, I get like seventeen hours. But yeah, I don't get like much hours on any of these phones because I do consider myself as like a active user. I'm constantly on the phone. Uh, I like non-stop on the phone. So I get like 10 hours with this and I get 11 hours on my S6. Now let's talk about like in, in regards to like how fast these phones like charge. Uh, the iPhone 6 from 0 to 100% takes about between 2 to two, 2 and a half hours. This Galaxy S6 is super fast. One and a half hours and bam, fully charged. Another cool thing too between the two phones, well, first of all, the, S, the S6 here is you can charge it wirelessly. So, I mean, that's like, it's super, super convenient. You know, you just buy one of these like wireless pads and just pop it on there and bam, it like basically uh, charges right up. Now you may think like a lot of people, are, and these are gonna get very popular because you know, a lot of, I mean, right now people are like, you know, the, you know, having the uh, the wireless pad, you know, you're freaking lazy. Like, why don't you like learn to freaking put the stupid plug in there? Well, the thing is, if you're sleeping at night, you know, those nights you're in bed with the lights off and you're on your phone, and then you want to go to sleep and you want to like plug your phone in, then you have to like pop the light on, look for the plug, then you got to freaking stick that stupid thing like in there. With the wireless pad, is simply just like you don't have to turn on the lights. You just like turn over, pop it on your counter, and you go to sleep, and you're good to go. Okay, so another thing too, in regards to like the uh, the feel of the phone, like the iPhone 6 is definitely slippery in my hand, uh, especially like yesterday was like 93 degrees, I'm here in Shanghai, so it was sweltering hot, it was like super humid, so my hands were sweaty, and that even makes the uh, iPhone 6 feel even more slipperier than the um, uh, this S6 here. Actually, the S5 felt better in my hand, believe it or not, even though it was like a plastic covering and stuff like that. 
Okay, now let's talk about in regards to uh, the camera. Okay, now, now, now really guys, like between these two phones, the camera is, I mean, it's, it's the best that I've ever seen. I mean, when I got the iPhone 6 at first, I was like, you know, this iPhone 6 camera, video, everything blows out every other phone like in the market until, you know, this X6, S6 came out. And one of the biggest issues with the S5, the previous version, was like shutter speed and the autofocus. Like, do you guys have any like Samsung Galaxy phones? Like, you guys will notice that there's always a freaking like some kind of lag, you know? Like, you want to take the picture, then sometimes you have to wait like a second or two, and then it snaps the picture. It's so annoying. But check this out. Between these two here, uh, let me see here. I mean, it's like right, the autofocus and the shutter speed is like right on top for both of them. Sometimes a little bit faster on the iPhone, sometimes a little bit faster on the uh, uh, the S6 here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap them at the same time here. I mean, it's like, it's like right on point every single time, guys. Oh, there's a, there's a little tiny lag on there, but I mean, uh, see, and this time the iPhone, the autofocus took a little bit longer, but I mean, between the, the, these both, between the autofocus and the shutter speed, uh, it's the best. I mean, even like this Sony Xperia Z3, guys, like you would think, um, you know, Sony, it's made by Sony. Sony makes like cameras. Um, and then this is like a like a, a 20, 20, 20 .7 megapixel camera as well. But I'll tell you, both of these phones here blow out the Sony Xperia Z3. There's absolutely no competition. Okay, so let's talk about like photos like in the daylight. Okay, when I first got my S6, it was like the photos in daylight were like, wow, it was like 100% perfect. It was like no other previous phone even came close to what the iPhone 6 can take a picture in daylight. And then when I got the S6, and I started uh, downloading it to my computer, taking pictures with both of these phones, I can drastically see a difference that the actual daylight photos for the S6 is a tad brighter and just crisper. Whereas the iPhone, it looks a little bit fuzzy, but you're not gonna be able to tell unless you compare both the pictures uh, on your computer. Then you, you'll be able to see with your eyes. Okay, so let's talk about like uh, photos in like low light or dim light. Like this is actually called like low light here because I have like sucky lighting here. But of course, if you go into like uh, if you're having dinner at a, a place, you know, typically it's going to be a little bit more like dimmer. So between like uh, low light, it depends on uh, which which low light situation I'm in. But most of the time, I can tell you that the uh, Galaxy S6, that the pictures always seem like they're a little bit more brighter and crisper. With the iPhone 6, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit more blurry compared to the uh, 6. So overall, definitely even in low light, the, the S6 blows out the uh, iPhone 6. Okay, now this is really cool. Let's talk about the uh, panoramic view, guys, that long view. Okay, now honestly, I mean, they both look pretty much similar. I can't really tell which one I like better. It's probably going to come down to preference because most of the photos, like the S6, looks a little bit more war warmer than the uh, iPhone 6. And when I say like warmer, basically it's like, you see like a slight like orange tint, but you know, it's very, it's very, very light like orange tint or like a yellowish, reddish, but some people, you know, prefer to have like warmer pictures. Uh, for myself, I mean, you know, sometimes I like it warmer, sometimes I don't. Anyways, in a panor the panoramic view, they both pretty much are the same. However, check this out. Because I didn't even know about this until like uh, the other day, but you know I've always been used to the uh, this S six here for quite some time. So when you put it in like panoramic view, and let me show you guys here. Let me put them both in panoramic view here. Now see I, I how how I have it in portrait mode. Like you guys can take the uh, panoramic view in uh, like portrait mode like this. Well check this out. You know the iPhone six you can't take it in. Um, in uh, landscape mode, but check this out. That's pretty cool. You can take the panoramic view on the S6 uh, in um, portrait mode or landscape mode, which is pretty cool. Because when I first got this S6, you know, I was always like trying to like, you know, trying to turn it over because I'm more used to like having it in like landscape landscape mode. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the flash. You know, when you're in dim light or in the dark and use the flash. Actually, when you use the, uh, use the flash, guys. More times than not, for some reason, the iPhone 6 uh, picture looks a little bit more clear and it just like lights your face up like in the right areas opposed to the, uh, the S6. Okay, 
let's talk about uh, doing um, selfies. Okay, now you guys know that the S5, I mean, uh, the, the front facing camera uh, over here is like a 1.2 megapixel versus a 5 megapixel on the, uh, the S6. Now the thing is too guys, like the S6 has a wide angle lens. So when you're taking selfies, for example, like I'll show you here, like you're gonna get a lot more, uh, you'll be able to show a lot more using the S6. Front facing camera, and you can see my hands are out. I don't know if you can see this, the same, the same area. So I mean, this is cool. I kind of like the wide angle lens better, guys, because you know when you're like um, with friends and stuff like that, and uh, you know you want to you want to get like everybody like in the picture. If if you have short arms or a lot of people have short arms, you're gonna have to give the phone to somebody else to take the picture because with the wide angle lens, you're just gonna be able to like get more you know, more people into like the photo. Okay, let's talk about like image stabilization in the in regards to video. I mean, honestly, in regards to stabilization, there's there's no competition. The S6 is much, much more uh, stable. So basically, like let's say for example, if you have, if, you, if it's in, like in the winter time, you have like shaky hands and you're kind of like shaking. When you watch the video on the S6, it's gonna look a hell of a lot more smoother opposed to the iPhone 6. However, the only thing is like, like I said, I'm in Shanghai, so I was doing like a lot of recording. I was holding the, uh, the video like this, and I'm in Shanghai where there's like a lot of like high rises and stuff like that. And I noticed like, after I, start, I, do, I started doing the record, um, download the recording to my, uh, my laptop, I noticed that some of the images, you know, even though this, this stabilization was a lot smoother on the, uh, the S6, like, you know, looking at some of the buildings, some of the, pic the, the video, it kind of looked like the video was like kind of like warped like on the sides a little bit compared to the uh, you know the iPhone 6 things just looked more natural even though it was a hell of a lot more shakier uh, but you know going around like buildings and stuff like that it looked like it was kind of like warped like on the sides but anyways overall I mean definitely with, with video the image stabilization it looks a hell of a lot better um, you know on the, S on the S6 opposed to the uh, iPhone 6 okay so let's talk about like video quality and stuff like that and like audio um, you know, I've ever since I got the iPhone 6, guys, I've been using my iPhone 6 uh, basically for my camera, for using, uh, for making like YouTube videos. But now that I got my S6, I'm going to be using my S6 more. Uh, not only is the video a little bit more crisper and smoother, but the sound, uh, my voice, when, when after I record a video and I, I see it on my computer, my voice is louder and it's clear opposed to the iPhone 6. But here's the catch though, when I, you know, uh, like I said, I'm in Shanghai here, uh, Shanghai now, so when I talk to my parents back in the US, when I do like a video chat uh, with them, they say that uh, between the two phones that, and this is under the same Wi-Fi connection, that the video quality looks a little bit better on the S6, and of course they're able to see me more because it's a wider angle lens, however, they can hear me uh, more clear and more louder on the iPhone 6. So, I mean, with them, they prefer actually me speaking with them on the iPhone 6 because they said the picture quality, it's, only, it's, it's not really a big difference. It's a little bit better on the S6, but they rather prefer uh, to have with the, the uh, clearer uh, and louder voice. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, like, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, like, honestly, I, I pretty much almost gave up on the Samsung Galaxy S series until the S6 came out. And... Um, I gotta say, like overall, I gotta say, in, you know, from using this phone like full time now, that I do think that the S6 is a little bit more superior than the iPhone 6. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, uh, just comment below, right?